the Day One Podcast. I'm Adam. And I'm Brett. We are back for another episode of the show. We're going to talk about some roadmap stuff, and we have a special guest on with us yeah. live here in the Day One A Studios, right? Welcome, Studio Josh Robertson. South. Hello, hey Josh. glad Hi. to be here and feel special. Yes, yes. Uh, jo- uh, Josh was on an episode prior when we talked about web slash server stuff, and we have him back on today because he's going to talk about a really cool project he's been working on that is in beta right now. In beta. Yep. In st- uh, yep. Yep. Mm. <laughs> those, those are just some hints there. <laughs> Dropping hints like everything. Um, yes. So we're really excited to get to talk to him about the development process and and uh, how it's going to work, what you can expect from this feature, because it's going to be really awesome. We've actually had some good reports from our beta testers. Uh, We've had some on Facebook and Twitter that are really excited about it. So uh, should we just get down to... I'm going to guess we have some listeners that are on the beta, quite a few. I would imagine so, for sure. So thanks for your... What's the delay between this podcast being recorded and being released? When it'll come out Monday. Oh, okay. So, so today's Friday. It'll, it'll still be in Monday. beta. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're but we're so close now. I figured this would be a good time to have you on and yeah. talk about like just the the development process and you know what what users can expect from this feature because I think that'll be great. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah, I'm right. excited. Yeah, uh, let me just mention mention some roadmap stuff. Um, a lot of the same things as we talked about last week. Video is still working. Uh, sorry, in progress. Um, what else? Templates. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. This has been a feature request that's been on our docket for a while. <laughs> Since and... 1998. <laughs> if only we were around that long. True. Um, but templates are coming. We're starting to test those out. There's some things that are being worked on as far as that goes. It is in an internal beta mm. or alpha. I don't know. If, like, how, how do you decide what those are? You it's just, pretty alpha, I'd you say. You just say it? <laughs> yeah. It's alpha. I mean, if it's changing a lot, then probably. Alpha, beta, delta, alpha. Yeah. omega. Right. Uh, anyway, so templates are coming, and these are really cool. I've been playing around with them. Basically, what you'll be able to do is go into the settings and set up some templates, and there will be some suggestions there that you can use, right? Uh, like a gratitude template mm-hmm. or uh, a daily log, etc. Mm-hmm. But you can customize your own, and what you'll do is you'll set up maybe like some headers or using Markdown or using what we're calling right now the sections of mm-hmm. the of the like the prompts or whatever you're going to have, right? And then when you go to start an entry, you'll tap that paper clip icon and tap the template option, and you'll be able to load that right into an entry. And this is good because the current options right. uh, for template stuff would be either the reminders, mm-hmm. okay, and you have to tap on the reminder for it to load into an entry, sure. or shortcuts, which you could set up. And those are more manual. You'll have to kind of work your way through that or steal somebody else's, which exactly. I've done. Of course. Thanks to Brian Renshaw, who we had yes. on a number of weeks ago, yep. who gave us some great suggestions and on Rose templates. Orchard. And Rose Orchard. And Rose, yeah, absolutely. So, but we're, that that in-app feature is coming soonish. Yes. Right, I'll mm-hmm. say soonish. And what I love too is you'll have, you'll be able to pull up multiple journal prompts to decide which one to yep. for the day. Instead yep. of saying, I can only do one to populate my journal, you'll be able to pick day to day. Exactly. I'm excited for that. And well, I, I mentioned one way to pull them in too. There, the mm-hmm. other way is like right off from the screen, you do like a long press on the new entry button. Mm-hmm. You can load a template there. So there's additional options. I, I won't get into the minutia about it, but I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a really great feature. A lot of users are going to find this helpful. Mm-hmm. Journal prompts so are excited. journal prompts are good, especially to help us get going into a writing mm-hmm. uh, uh, pa- uh, consistency. Mm-hmm. Yep. Routine. Exactly. That's yeah. the word I was Habits. Looking. Habits. Yes. Exactly. Those are the words I was looking for. I just couldn't <laughs> yeah. find them yes. <laughs> as quickly. Uh, mm. So, yeah, those those are the big ones. Well, I, I mentioned video very briefly. Video is still being worked on. And actually part of that, uh, I, I, Josh can tell me a little bit more about this, but at least some of that code is going into the feature that Josh wa- worked on, which is why we're having him on this That's episode. Right. Let's talk about it. Let's do it. Josh uh, worked on a major project, uh, has been for a little while now, where it's our own Instagram integration to the app. Exactly. So it's kind of funny because we've actually had like four iterations of the Instagram importer. So Mm -hmm. I'm sure, I don't know if any like has it been leaked or anything, but like we've been working on Instagram for a while and like Mm -hmm. we kind of like pushed it away to the side because it wasn't like... Well, Instagram in April 2018, they actually changed their API. And so it was like during that whole privacy policy with social media. And so a lot of people got impacted by that. And we were one of them. And so we were working on it. And we actually pretty much had it all done. And then we decided to just postpone it and just put it back on the burner because of 
those issues that we ran into with Instagram, which we currently are running into, but we've made a workaround. And so there's a lot of different things that we've been putting into this. And also, as you already mentioned, video is part of it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. video was required for Instagram. At least that's what we wanted. Because, I mean, if you have your Instagram imported, I'm, you'd want your video to yeah. be imported as well. <laughs> Absolutely. So that also required development. And But now, I mean, with Instagram importing, it'll have video, posts, you know, everything. Multiple images. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Multiple mm -hmm. images. Oh, that's right. Because Instagram supports carousels. So right. there's a lot of different uh, tricky implementations and that went in through the development. Awesome. Now, I want to get into some of the minutiae. We, we mm -hmm. don't have to get into all of it, all the mm -hmm. details there. But I, I do... Thank you for bringing that up because I think that highlights maybe any any software company that you look at, right? Where we've got this idea, we've got this feature, we've got this improvement that we want to make, but then like obstacles come up uh, and you have, you have to change. You have to change sure. your workflow. You have to decide, okay, what is this going to set me back as far as time goes? Is there mm -hmm. another feature that I could work on in the meantime that needs that has more right. uh, priority, et cetera? So these things get like dealt with on a daily basis, right. if not weekly, you know. Sure, uh, we're at the mercy of a third party yeah. like we can't control. Yeah, yeah. exactly, it's pretty unexpected. And then mm -hmm. on top of that, you know, other people are working on different projects, so those clash sometimes. It's like, well, now we actually want to store our data this way, mm -hmm. or, you know, it kind of depends on other people as well, as well as third party. So mm -hmm. just a lot of different obstacles that we can't really, you know, foresee. Right. right. Sure. But even even in our own development, I you know, we see this all the time where it's like, okay, let's start working on this feature. Well, there are some obstacles that are gonna come up. How do we address those first, et cetera? Uh, you know, just off the top of my head, like shared journals is one of our big feature requests. Oh, publish as well. <laughs> oh, publish, yeah. right? Yeah. So there are these features out there and and you know, we started working on shared journals for a little bit. Uh, more than once. No, mm -hmm. that's true. That's yeah, true. We've had a couple implementations, but none of them have really felt quite right. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that's the thing where we have to decide as an organization, like, is this something we put more time and effort into, or is, are there other priorities that we could work on to improve the experience now uh, that will prepare us maybe for a later implementation of that right. feature? Does that make sense? Yes. Which is actually interesting that you bring that up because with Instagram, we are so... I guess a little insight, a little Easter egg. Yes. Our data actually does support, like, uh, we actually fetch the profile image of the Instagram user. Oh, okay. And so we actually put that on the journal as well. So in the future, maybe if we have, like, how we recently added description to journals, it's possible that we could add, like, an image for each yes. journal. So mm. we kind of leave ourselves a little open-ended. But with Instagram importing, we do have that ability to say, okay, let's just add that image already for them. And since we already have that at this point in time, it's like, maybe we'll get there, maybe we won't. So. Right. Well, yeah, no, absolutely. See, that's, I just wanted to highlight that as far as uh, just like how development goes and how, what I've mm -hmm. learned personally, mm -hmm. just from observation or, or being in our meetings where we discuss what's going on, uh, you know, we have to be willing to adapt and be flexible. And, right. you know, sometimes I feel like as a, as a consumer myself, like, I, well, I want this feature quickly. Why can't yeah. you just work on this one, right? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of considerations to be made, and we, mm -hmm. we definitely want to find the best way forward. Especially when, and I want Josh to step us through for those of most of our listeners who, have, who don't have the beta, so they don't know the, how to set it up. So walk us through that, but especially because it's so easy, to your yeah. point, Adam, it's like people are like, well, what took you so long to do this? All you do is sign <laughs> in, and there's my journal. Yep. Yeah. Well, also, there's multiple, like, when you're working on a, uh, a feature, it usually requires like a cross team development. So yep. for me, I'm working on the server and the web and then I do my part and then, you know, start implementing it. And then all of a sudden I have to contact client and have them implement it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we run into a few different issues. So it's not only just like one team that's yep. working on a feature. So it gets a little bit more complex when you're working sure. across different teams. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the whole setup, I guess, going through that is they have Instagram in their settings right now. And then uh, if you have Instagram in the app, or I don't know if it pulls up a website, but you just click connect and then it'll pull up a website and then it'll have you log in. And then once you log in, it brings you back to day one and then it just connects and it brings in all your info right there. Uh, and then it just starts importing in the background. It starts a new journal. Yes, it creates right. a new journal and then it just starts importing in the background of all the Instagram posts right. into the entries. And what's interesting is, so if you have already approved day one, as like Instagram, uh, for, I think in the past we've had Instagram as well, or some right, different like features. Right, like well through, through the activity feed. Yeah, right? and so mm -hmm. if we have already been approved 
our actual access token, mm -hmm. then it'll just do it automatically once you click Instagram Connect, which cool. may look a little weird for a user because like, wait, I didn't even just like approve it, but it'll just start automatically start mm -hmm. importing, create the journal, import, and then, I mean, if you have a big journal, then it takes a while. And that's the reason why it takes quite a bit is just because we actually pull not just 640 by 640, which is the uh, like default Instagram. Si the size. Square. Yeah, yeah. Size, size of the image size. Thank you for the explanation. The well, I'm, 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 <laughs> we're, the we're trying to like relate this, like try to, yes. you, you give us all the technical information and we'll try to translate that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Because I'm, I'm talking to people like me who, who need that, right? Who needs it. You know, okay. How, what does that mean? Yes. Et cetera. So, okay. So anyway, the reason, continue. yeah, yeah. So the reason why it takes a lot, so long is because you know, we have to go and get the image and all the information data. And then after we get that image, Instagram's API, we have to go and do another, like get more data mm -hmm. and it's higher res. So we actually have the highest res that we can get from Instagram, yes. which is like, I think it's, you know, sometimes like 1080 by 1080 or whatever. Mm -hmm. But initially our first implementation, it was just the 640 by 640. Mm -hmm. uh, right. And that's like our thumbnails yep. in day one. So it's like, it looked a little lower res, but if possible, we go and get the full res. Now there is actually one like implicate, implication with this. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is we can't go get that full res image unless the Instagram account is public. Oh. And so if you have a private Instagram and connect with day one, then we'll only get, we'll get what we can and do everything we can possible, but it's only like 640 by 640. Okay. So it's not as high res. Okay. But if the user, like say a user wants to make their account public temporarily, yes. they could then make it public, pull in their Instagram and it gets the full res and then they could just make it private Go back again. to private. Yeah. Okay. But then we, the future posts, of course, wouldn't get uh, full res, but right. then they at least get it imported. See, and that's one of the major highlights for me on this feature is similar to how our integration with Ift works, all new posts that you add to Instagram will automatically come into day one as, as it syncs, right? Yeah, that's so correct. I post something on Instagram and then the next day I open up my day one journal, things start to sync and then that post shows up in my journal automatically. Yeah, exactly. That's really cool. It's super cool. So we'll do that like, I think we only do it once a day where we check all Instagram users mm -hmm. and then pull in their data. But if a user actually pulls up the app, then it'll say, okay, now let's go check Instagram to make sure we update it. Nice. And so there mm -hmm. is that little bit of say they don't pull it up for a week, they're still getting updates, Yeah, which is nice. That's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, and I think, I think that's gonna be great because for me, I've, mo I've tried to move away from social media on a personal level, uh, just got too much. And I think I've talked about that a little yep. bit on the show, so <laughs> maybe ad nauseum. Okay, let's be honest. <laughs> but, but this is a great way to kind of, you know, maybe not necessarily for a transition, but at least for um, preserving that content right. however you wanna do it. I mean, a lot of people use it for, memories, kids, mm -hmm. etc. This is this is a great way to put it in day one and have it in an exportable format, whether mm -hmm. it's PDF or book printing or, you know, great way to preserve your memories, I sure. think. I think my favorite feature so far as I've been using it has been on this day. So like oh, Instagram, yeah. you don't mm -hmm. have on this day and you just have a ton of posts. You know, if you have hundreds or even thousands, you get like, you're like, I don't even know what I posted two years ago. Right. But when you import it to day one, all of a sudden I'm getting on this day pretty much every day because I was, you know, I was more active with Instagram yeah. than journaling. Yeah. And so I'm seeing all these different Instagram posts like, oh, that's cool that I actually, you know, did this or at this time. So nice. at least for me. And that that is optional too. People might not know that you can disable on this day on a per journal basis right. in the journal settings. Correct. And so if, yeah, like if, I don't know, if you have some, and you can connect multiple Instagram accounts. That's also what's really cool yeah. about yes. it too. I have, I think, four or three yes. right now. <laughs> I wanted to mention that because maybe there's one of those journals or one of those Instagram accounts that you don't necessarily want to see in on this day or maybe it clouds right. it up or something. So you can disable that on a one-off mm -hmm. basis. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But multiple Instagram <laughs> accounts, everyone. See, we didn't have that with Activity Feed. Right. So right? The or you'd uh, have to sign out and sign yeah, back I in, think I think. So. So. Well, there is one, I guess, signing out. Wait, sign out day one or Instagram? Instagram from the activity feed. But it's been removed from oh, there I anyway, see. so we don't. it's not even in there. Okay, well, for you to like connect a new Instagram, you'll have to log into that new Instagram. Right, right of right. course. So, mm -hmm. And then so. approve of uh, approve us and all that. For you, but it's right. pretty straightforward. And the, other, and the other big thing, as you know, you mentioned this briefly, was uh, multiple image support, which mm -hmm. wasn't supported right. in our integration with Ift, or sorry, yeah. With if too, yeah, I if, think. And it was right. only new posts, right? If, and only new posts, not historical not data. History. Uh, and then the activity feed was also only a single post and it right. only went back six weeks. So right. this is all historical mm -hmm. Instagram data of that connected account, right. plus multiple pictures, support, 
plus video support. Exactly. And I'll actually. Isn't that great? You, yeah, it's awesome. I love it. But does not include comments. Right? No. Likes, no comments or likes. Or story content. I mean. Story. Is that if, just not included in a, the API? It's not. No, we could actually get that. Oh, uh, okay. It's just for where we're at right now. We just didn't really feel okay. like it was necessary or anything. Yeah. So if that is something that's heavily asked for, then we could probably reconsider it. Okay. But nice. um, one thing, though, I'll go back to talking about kind of a little bit of the implementa- implementation yeah. of Instagram is so we are we do reach a rate limit due right. to uh, Instagram back in April 2018 when they changed all their uh, policies. It reduced like. It used to be like you could have 5,000 requests to Instagram in an hour. Now it's down to like 200, which oh, drastically wow. lowers the amount of you know connections to Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Um, so with that me- meaning, with that information now that you received, we could only pull 4,000 Instagram posts in one hour. Uh, okay. And so if someone has more than 4,000, then they'll probably only get like 4,000 and then in an hour, we'll try again. Okay. And so we have this implementation where it's just a, it's called an exponential rollback. And so we'll just like try to get more Instagram posts. And if we can, then it's like, okay, we'll wait an hour or we'll wait now three hours or whatever, you know, it goes back all the way. And we have to actually share those requests, those 200. So with other third party implementations. So like say, Mm. I don't know. Chat books or something. Yeah, chat books, exactly. Mm -hmm. So if someone is using it with us and we're sharing that, the number, then, it gets a little complicated because it's like, well, why can't you pull all my Instagram posts? It's like, well, we couldn't. We were just limited, you know. Right. But we'll keep trying. And if you come back in a day or whatever, it'll. you don't even have to have the app open. So once you click right. connect, you come back in a day, hopefully it'll all be there because right. you've had that time. Because that's it's writing directly to the server, correct? Uh, it has to read it from Instagram. And Instagram, like day one, has to read the data right. from Instagram. And Instagram won't give us that data if we reach that limit. Right, 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 right. Of, you know. But when you say it's working in the background. Oh yeah, we're all, it's all server side. So right. Instagram's all on the server side, it's not on your phone. Right. Yeah, right, thank right, you, right. sorry. No, that's, sorry, I just wanted to make sure. But that. But the point is, it's not like we're capping you at a certain number of posts. If you have a large Instagram right. library, you still can get all of your data, it just might take longer for larger libraries. Yeah, exactly. Right? And I actually, we haven't uh, had a beta tester go over 4,000 in one Instagram account. Okay. We've it's had good. pretty close, we've had, multiple 3800s yeah. and they all import immediately like you know boom done that's so nice. that's, so, that's <laughs> a lot of instagram yeah. posts mm. i mean not immediately i guess i should say sure, within sure. like five minutes yeah. but no but it's pretty quick it's though pretty quick it chunks through pretty quickly and uh but yeah i'm excited to see how it goes I, we've tested it locally but mm-hmm. with beta testers or active accounts we haven't gone over that 4,000 limit yet which i'm excited to see how that'll yeah let's do it and it's it's out to all external beta testers right now plus we added another 400 i think yeah that's good uh, i've been watching via, it. via social media we just invited people via with a link uh so we've added some additional beta testers on this because we wanted i think we wanted to kind of push those limits and see yeah you mm-hmm. know what we can handle how you know do we need to change the scale especially when multiple people are connecting at once so yeah. if we have like oh. you know 20 30 people that have like thousands of entries you know we're all or thousands of instagram posts we're all just going through that all at once and boom yeah we're trying to make sure that everything's okay <laughs> and we're keeping our eyes on it and as of right now, I think we've only imported about 20,000 entries. Okay. Uh, we're around like 1,000 videos and that kind of stuff. So and we're still pretty Adam. small. <laughs> that's Adam. Yeah. I only have four, <laughs> 400. Videos. No, 400. And, and of his puppy. At least <laughs> some of those are the day one Instagram account because I was just using that food to test. Instagram. But yeah, sure. I used, I used to do that. I used to do a food Instagram. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have a question. I want to go back to the point of if it's a private account. Oh, yeah, please. And then you decide to make it open. So then the new, the higher res versions mm-hmm. get downloaded. They go back if they want to go back to private. It doesn't try to go back and do the lower res. No, it'll keep the, it. Yep, okay. exactly. And also going with that, mm-hmm. if you delete an Instagram post right. and you've already imported into day one, mm-hmm. that Instagram post will still be in day one. Ah, so, that's good to know that. Yeah, that's interesting. So if you're like using Instagram, and then you're posting, it's like getting imported into day one. If you delete it from Instagram, then it doesn't delete it from day one. It's okay. separate. So if someone really wanted just to import it and delete their Instagram account sure. or just ah, like, you know, yes. it would st- still all be in day one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that's good to know. Yep. And the default will be that your hashtags will turn into tags. Yes. That's something that will be turned on yes. that you can turn off. But there is a setting you can turn that off. So if you don't. Oh, yeah. So that's not in the right now test flight build, is it? The beta I think it test? is. Yes. It's the UI is slightly confusing, though. Oh, yeah, he's got it. So he's actually, yeah, we're actually going to change that UI to where once you click connect, a pop up 
a little modal will come up mm. and say, you know, do you want to create tags from hashtags? Right. And then you can click select either or because that that like right now the selector kind of looks a little, it's a little confusing as, right you know UX right. design. And do we still have the little image of you in your face saying like yes? Do you want that? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we should have those with little my Easter Snapchat eggs. filter. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Josh and his Snapchat filter. <laughs> uh, I, no, that's a good idea because I think there's a lot of there's people who do a lot of hashtags in Instagram posts right. that they don't necessarily want to show up as tags in their day one Correct. journal. So uh, for those of you who got on early, I don't think that was no, there. it wasn't initially. So, but you'll be able to turn that off as soon as it goes. Well, we'll have it in the public release. Yeah, I definitely imagine. in the public release. Yeah, so it's an either or. So you can't like specify which tags you want to transfer over. Or no, hashtags. yeah, it's either or. You'd have to manually do it at that point if sure. you want to like actually you know filter through and that's pretty easy through day one you just click the filter and yep. go through the yep. process yep and also that's per journal so per instagram account uh -huh. so you could say i want this instagram account to have the hashtags and then this other one which is some random weird one not to have the hashtags or all of my <laughs> posts are <laughs> hashtags exactly well no to that point uh i'm also going back here that's okay. <laughs> i didn't like set up any flow yeah. on this but <laughs> you're um oh shoot it's real time. Just shows you how your mind thinks. <laughs> I got a question while Adam's thinking. Okay. Um, I know a few people in the Facebook day one community has asked, is this something that we can do for Twitter? Oh yeah. Twitter feed. I mean, they have an API and I'm sure we could definitely do that. Uh, and if not use their API, then we could just, Twitter has a great, they actually just barely revamped their export. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure if we can't figure out something with their API, we could at least do just like a data dump. That would be, you know, mm -hmm. more of a, first or first class, you know, experience. Sure. My question is you, you said that comments and likes aren't coming in, but the initial like post comment will be there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So your post and your comments, that's separate from like, it's like, well, know, it's like what you're saying. It's like what you're saying when you post it, right? Yeah, that that is coming in. Yes, exactly. So whatever you say on the Instagram post and all those images, the filters, all that kind of stuff, they come in. But like if someone comments like, oh, I love this picture of yeah. your dog. That doesn't come in. Right. right. And I would imagine subsequently, let's say I do an Instagram post with no text at first and then later comment, that won't show up, right? You edit it or right. something? Right. Yeah, that won't show up. Okay. Because, yeah. That's, yeah. That was my thought. Okay. So, You'd have to but yes, back. your initial like text that you post with, with the Instagram picture will come into day one. So you will have that information. Exactly. And if you know, you could delete that entry from day one and then just click re-import. And oh. that'll actually re-import and then bring in that comment or the oh, okay. ed edited, edited description that okay. you added. Okay. All right. So. Cool. 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 Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be such a great feature. I, I think mm -hmm. for me, like preserving memories in day one is just like, that's why I use it. It's just to have that information and being able to import these other sources of data is going to be great. Mm -hmm. And if, if this is paving the way for future options, like, like Twitter or Facebook. Yeah. Awesome. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll actually go into a little bit more detail as well on Instagram. So yeah, we, if you have a location uh, set in your Instagram post, then we'll actually fetch the weather mm. for whenever you posted that. So there is a little bit of a confusion here because if you create an Instagram post and then uh, and say this is the location and everything, uh, whenever we pull that, the data for the weather and also the time. So we, we actually uh, make sure the timestamp's correct. So mm -hmm. say you're in Berlin when you post that, then. Uh, the time, like time zone time zone will yeah, be correct yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh and so there's a little bit of confusion though because it's not when not when you took the picture it's actually when you posted it to instagram yes correct and where you took it so if you say i took a picture here in day one day one's office but then i like say oh no i was actually in ireland well it'll pull that information from ireland mm. and so there is you have to like depending on what the user, how they hit Instagram, you know, it may be a little off or like the weather may be slightly off because I took it at noon and then I posted into Instagram at like 8 p.m. Yeah. So there's a little bit of confusion there that okay. could possibly happen, but just to Well, clarify, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah that's good to know. So it, the timestamp and the, and the weather location will be at yes. the time of the post, not necessarily the picture. Exactly. And yeah. so what they could do is then they could actually, if they still have the photo on their phone or whatever, then they could upload the photo and then say, use this timestamp yeah. and weather and then remove the old one or whatever. Yep. Cool. This is a lot of great stuff. Now, the when you first do this, the the jur journal name is just Instagram, and yes. it does include the description of whatever you have in like your bio, correct? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that's being added there. 
you can edit the name of the journal. Does that affect it at all? No, it doesn't affect it. It'll still import and okay. everything will be no problem. So I could like name it after what my Instagram account is and yes, that, that I, way I'd be able to delineate I, it. Yeah, exactly. Better. I do like Instagram colon space, yeah. Instagram user ID. Mm. And then my description, yeah, the description comes in as, you know, your bio, but it also brings in like your website if you have that. That's right. That's right. And so that's cool. And that's all editable. So you can do what you need to do there. I think that's great. And this is a plug for our day one books. Uh, when you do an Instagram, if you do like an Instagram import, you can then print that into a book. And our books include up to 400 pages, which is awesome. So yeah, that's awesome. It's a lot of, you know, you can get a lot of cool memories to be preserved in those. So very cool. And is, Instagram is going to be a premium feature? Premium, yeah. Okay. Premium feature. Premium and, feature. Yeah. And yes. it is. It is. It is premium <laughs> thanks to you it's yeah it's well and awesome. all the other work like you mentioned uh, there's also work being done on the client and when he when josh says client he means the app itself on the phone or mm -hmm. mac uh so there was work done there as well to be prepared for this yeah exactly the majority of it was server though I sure mean, sure once you click connect the server does it all in the background so it's pretty nice you don't have to worry about or be concerned of you know closing the app because yeah. it's still importing was the work that brad's worked on for video like from camera roll, was that related to the work you did? Yes, for video exactly. So video, definitely, that's a huge. Thank you for mm -hmm. that. Video is huge. Uh, we need we needed a video to be supported, and mm -hmm. now that video's there with everything, it, it looks really nice and feels yeah. a much better experience than before. <laughs> and and prepping us for a standalone video feature of adding videos to your entries. So yeah, exactly. That I mean, that was kind of the prime primary reason, but then it also helps to support these other features like the Instagram import. Yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm just, I'm so excited. There's a lot of cool stuff coming down the pipeline, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get a little nervous. I'm like, oh, I wish this would come out sooner. Come on. Sure, yeah. Sure. Come on, devs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Which it would have. We've implemented it four times, but well, I know, now but, it feels yeah. so right. much better than we're, the first we're trying, yeah. Right. We're trying things that work, and we find out, okay, maybe that's not the best way to do it. Right. Let's try another way. Uh, and, you know, that's what we, that's what we exactly. try to do here. We, I, I, I'm going to speak for the devs and for Paul here for a second, okay? So if I'm wrong, they can quote me or something, or not quote me. <laughs> correct you. We, correct me. Uh, we we care a lot about the features that we that we ship right. out, okay? Um, and and we're going to do our best to make sure that it is a great experience for the user before sh you know before making it out there. So. Right. Thanks to all the hard work that the engineers have done on this. Uh, and thanks to our beta uh, testers, too, yes. because we've actually, just this recent time, we discovered a few bugs that we've now fixed. And there were a few cases, like it's actually an interesting case, this one, where this one user uh, kept running into issues with importing his journal. And I was like, well, maybe it's because he has such a big uh, Instagram. You know, he's got like 3,800. Mm -hmm. Come to find out, it was because one of his images was actually either removed or something from Instagram. So if you pull up that Instagram post, it's missing. And I think it might have been like flagged or something from inappropriate behavior. I don't know what okay. it was, but thanks to our beta testers, we were able to discover all these issues and fix them. And then when it's public, it hopefully is a much better experience awesome. for everyone. And awesome. so when, that, when that's the case, we just put in like a little placeholder that's like, Image is in here. <laughs> <laughs> so besides maybe uh, doing some cleanup on this and some final touches, wh what else are you working on right now? What what, what are we looking forward to? Uh, looking forward to, well, doing a lot of improvements with Sync. Yep. Um, on top of Sync, we're also working on improving the kind of like the settings of the web app. Just trying to make that a little bit, a little bit better of an experience. I added Instagram there, so if you actually go to day1.app slash settings. Instagram will be there, hopefully. Well, not right now, but once it's public, it will awesome. be. And so improving that a little bit and making things a little bit better there. Cool. In addition to that, he's getting married. So he's got, that's, <laughs> that's personal true. stuff. That's right. That's true. There's some personal things going Life on. Life changes. Yeah, that's exciting. So good. Yeah. And he got a great haircut this week. Oh, uh, <laughs> man. Sore spot. <laughs> I wanted the long hair. It's okay. You know what? Good thing about hair is it always grows back. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cool. Anything else? I, you know, we just had some listeners going, I don't have hair. I know. Mine doesn't grow back. So uh, mine it always grows Hey, back. I mean, fair enough. Fair if enough. someone doesn't have hair, but they have a beard, then that's great. Yeah. yeah. I wish I could grow a beard. What if, a what solid if, what beard. if you can't do like either? Adam. I, I had, a, can I tell you a funny <laughs> slash embarrassing story real quick? Yes. I was in customer service a long time ago. Actually, I was a trainer for customer service. And I was trying to show, like I was making a joke about how easy it is to access some 
feature or something that that they needed in their tools and i was like if you've got you know a, a pointer finger and whatever you can just click on this button you know and this guy <laughs> literally holds up his hand and he was missing oh. a few digits and i felt oh. so dumb <laughs> oh. like one how could i have known sure. but two that i just like yes. oh brother <laughs> foot in mouth like right on the there. other hand oh foot in oh, dang on the yeah. other hand yeah, yeah exactly oh, okay. foot in mouth so i yeah. i apologize for any s- and you're assuming somebody has a foot and a mouth stupid that. things that i've said which are innumerable you know you wake up at 3 a.m thinking about that one stupid thing you said mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. or 50 stupid things you said sure sure anyway Love uh, it, Josh. exciting Good yeah stuff. exactly yeah, thank you so exciting. much for joining us today and talking about this feature i think it's going to be it's going to be amazing it's going to be great. Yeah. Let us know when you start using it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Listeners. looking forward to what people have to say about it. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and, and this is just uh, paving the road for other things as well. Like like we mentioned, it's, there's possibities for other social media. What about my Angel Fire website? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow get data from that. <laughs> you want your MySpace as well? Yes. MySpace. Oh, oh those were the days. Yes. Now I'm just showing my age. <laughs> Anyway. Internet, that's like dog years. I mean, internet <laughs> years is not that long ago. Yeah, that's true. So, Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank uh, you. Links below for our help guides or scheduling a call with Brett. Or if you need to get in contact with us, go to podcast at dayoneapp.com. Just shoot us an email. Yeah. Uh, we're here to help any way we can. And we'll be back in the next couple of weeks with another episode. Thanks for listening, everyone. Bye.